Take it off. Was a dollar bill. Take, take oh, it off. Take oh, shit, take, oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 thank God. <laughs> what is up, people? We're back. With yes, episode yes. Episode seven of That's Where I Set on the Record with our special guest host. We're introducing you, my boy from Virginia, Dan, the man, Paisley. What up? So, we're going to go ahead and uh, knock this. Uh, disclaimer out the way real quick, the views and exp uh, comments here on That's Where I Said On The Record are hours and hours alone. Uh, if you are offended by anything we may say, just go ahead and click back or turn off or X out your internet because we don't really give a damn. Or get some Vagisil. Yeah, pretty much. That's right, I said it. <laughs> so, uh, something we want to talk about, we'll kind of do a little continuation of some stuff that we had talked about last week. We just said we was going to get back in touch with you guys on two subjects. And uh, let you know how we feel about them. First of which is candy meth. Uh, Dan, let's go ahead and tell us about what candy meth is. Well, uh, from what I understand, candy meth, they're, they're taking the, meth, the drug methamphetamines and they're shaping it like candy and flavoring it with all sorts of different flavors. Um, the most famous of which, from what I understand, is the strawberry flavor. We're calling it strawberry quick. Yeah. Oh, I get it. So like quick or speed, you know, the sort of like the fastness that's to it. What yeah, it sounds that's, like. That's witty. That is witty. Yeah, so I think they should just shape it like Pez, make little dispensers for it, and sell it on ice cream trucks. Because I would be hooked on that, because I love Pez. Yeah, this is one of my favorite candies ever. Little Pez with a little cracked out deal on the front. Like, yeah. Little out <laughs> eyes. That'd be cool. This is obviously a horrible, horrible thing because <clears throat> they're trying to move the uh, the demographic down to kids, obviously, because you know no one's going to try to make candy flavored narcotics for adults or anything like that. So these assholes are actually trying to move this into you know elementary schools and stuff like that. Yes, which brings us to the subject of today's rant: drugs. I can tell you from personal experience that I have never done drugs in my life. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. No, for real. I've never done drugs. Come on now. Come on now. Bullshit. Oh, horse shit. Yeah, no, I've never done drugs. Yeah, that's horseshit. At any rate, <laughs> <laughs> drugs, I've always had a personal thing against. I never liked them. Never done them. And well, that's why you never liked them, because you never done them. Probably. Don't but, knock it till you try it. <laughs> But I, I don't know. I just I just can't fathom how anybody would want to get like a five year old kid high, and uh, maybe be a part of that drug trafficking ring we were talking about before. With it. Yeah, with the uh, five year old kid with high and cocaine. Yeah, yeah, that twenty four month old kid that was all coked up at daycare. Yeah, I think that's what it is. You end up getting all that some of that friggin' strawberry candy meth or whatever. Yeah, do you do it. Start him early. That's what I said. Start him early. Like Michael Jackson. Wow. Oh, you're going to hell for that. Yeah, I think. I, think I got box seats. So. <laughs> I'll see you there. Drugs are bad, okay? Mm -hmm. No we're doing. Except for that E stuff. I, I would try. If I ever did drugs, I would try E. Really? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I was running around like licking carpet. Kids lick carpet. Yes, <laughs> lick carpet. Yes, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Just grass on the field, play ball. Moving uh, on. <laughs> what's our next subject? Let's get off of drugs. Let's talk about patriotism, or at least patriotism in a comic book. We'll talk about the legend death of Captain America. Please elaborate. So, Marvel Comics has decided that it is now time to kill off their oldest superhero. Um, in an upcoming issue, they're going to end the life of Captain America. He's apparently going to walk out of a courthouse and take a sniper bullet in the noodle. What the fuck, Marvel? Yeah, that is some serious fucking bullshit right there. You got one of the greatest superheroes in my mind ever, and you're going to have him killed off by a freaking sniper? Well... I'm going to slightly disagree with you there because in the overall terms of his powers, I think he rates just above Punisher and Robin and will rate right above Aquaman. So his powers are kind of limited, but he's more than just a hero. He's, he's an, an icon. icon. Exactly. 
And in this day and age of uh, the global war on terrorism and all this other racism and KKKs walking around with Durker Durker and taxis and shit, you can't kill off Captain America. It's like, it sounds like kill off Superman. Oh wait, they did that. They did that. They did that. That was lame. Because you brought him back. By, by like five, you know, he came back in the form of like five gay teenagers or something like that, didn't he? At I think first. he had like Power Rangers or something. Yeah, like something like that. Five super fags. Yes. Fuck Marvel. Boycott it. He was, uh, Superman was DC. Fuck Touché. DC too. Oh, oh, <laughs> go Dark Horse. <laughs> Comic books are bullshit. I mean, basically what you're doing is you're making a comic where the terrorists terrorists win. If you you know killing off Captain America like that. Yeah. Let us know what you think about Captain America and the, and what he represents. Let us know what you think about his impending death by a snap. Not even a. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna kill him off, give him like some big epic battle, not just walking all and all of a sudden. You know? With a 50 foot tall terrorist. Yeah! You know? That's something like. You know. Or maybe an army of terrorists. Or maybe. like have him die, like 9 11 style, like in an airplane, saving it. But then the airplane goes down anyways because he couldn't save it. I could even buy that. I'll go with that. But a but sniper? Coming out of a court high, what the hell was he doing? He played his parking ticket and all of a sudden he gets shot. Just capped. Oh my god. Was he in Compton or something? <laughs> I think he was. Is that black show? Does it sound like a black joke? Yes. That's right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, <Bob. Yeah. laughs> so. All right, I uh, received a couple questions from people. Um, my cousin Nick, he sent a question. He wanted us to talk about uh, teachers having sex with their students. This is the best thing, most awesome thing I've ever heard, ever. Why wasn't this going on when I was in school? That's what I'm saying. I had a couple teachers that... I'd have I'd have given anything to friggin' have that with. And then you got you got these kids that are, you know, pulling off every kid's dream by banging one of the teachers and they have to go and screw it up by telling people about it. Alright? Yeah, alright, obviously, you know, if there was if I was banging a couple of the teachers that I had, I'd want to tell everybody too. But there's just certain people you don't tell because then you're gonna get them fired and then you're just you're fucked and not in the way that you were getting fucked, you know, previously. You're fucking up, you're fucking. Exactly. Do you know how many pornos start off, but you're in the class and the teacher's teaching you, and then you end up, like, gangbanging the teacher or something? Quite a bit. I've seen it on the internet. You know, if, if they... This is like men's fantasy. I don't know about you. I went to private school. We didn't bang our teachers. You wanted to. Just a gym coach. I hope it wasn't Was gym. he hot? <laughs> I don't know, my English teacher was so fine. Oh my god. I, I tried to go pick up on her after, like when I became a recruiter, I tried to go back and go pick up on her. It turns out she was getting married. That was yeah. weak. Too late, man. Yeah, I know. But she was high. Still have about her. <laughs> also, uh, my cousin Nick, he picked up on um, on our so called, on the our edition we did about haters. Um, my my little deal at the end, the whole up up down down left right left right B A select start. He actually commented and asked, "Was that in fact the code for Contra to get infinite lives?" Almost. You only got thirty lives with that, but it is Contra, and that was the code. Good going, Nick. Way to be a video game geek. You're a dork. It's cool. Yeah, I think next time we really should talk about video games because we can go all day about video games. Absolutely. Speaking of video games, I'm fucking pissed off. I was going to say <laughs> F uh, Microsoft, but they're about to fix my stuff. You know, buy Xbox 360, have it for a couple months. It wasn't due, it just shuts down on you. It's fucking bullshit. Hit the button. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Fucking hate Microsoft. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead and fix my stuff. Please have it back. That's my hate. Yeah. Do we have any uh, any more questions? Any questions? I didn't get any too many questions uh, from, from this week, so... I wonder if we should hit them up with a question. All right, ask away. I was asking you. I had a question, oh. but I forgot it. Well, I'm too hungover right now to come up with anything. That's the question. Hangovers. Alcohol. How do you deal with hangovers and get alcohol? Because my boy here is toasted. He's been fucked up for like almost 24 hours. 
So I used, I used to try to avoid hangovers by staying drunk, but now that I have to like work and shit. Okay. Well, we gotta we gotta go. So I'm gonna sign off with I'm the juggernaut, baby. I'm done. I'm about to go finish uh, continue my search for albino porn. That's right, I said it. And it's official. But I have the magic stick.